and continuing our 2008 North American International Auto Show coverage on Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com. We are at the Suzuki stand with Steve Yunin, and we're standing in front of something pretty darn impressive. Tell us what we're looking at here. Well, what you're looking at is our X-Head concept vehicle uh, that we actually unveiled in Tokyo, and mm -hmm. it's, it's making its North American debut here today. Mm -hmm. uh, the vehicle was really made as a prelude to an upcoming pickup truck we're going to launch later really? in this year. Now, this is just a fun exercise compared to the more realistic proportions of a truck we're going to come out with later in the fall. But uh, nevertheless, we just want to kind of stimulate discussion and thought with a concept like this. Well, let's talk about the design a little bit. Maybe we should start up front because that's a pretty bold face. Let's let's talk about the front end here. Yeah, I mean, the design was basically to take, uh, you know, Suzuki's famous for taking big ideas and wrapping mm -hmm. them into small packages. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the idea was to take a, you know, a big rig Mack truck kind of styling and shrink it down to the proportions of a Mini Cooper mm -hmm. and uh, pull off something that will still make it practical enough to activate your weekends. Size is important. When you look at the pictures, uh, maybe online or just in uh, press materials, it looks like it's a really large vehicle, but actually by size, it's it's not huge at all. Uh, you're saying Mini Cooper size and length? Yeah, it's, it's about 12 feet long, um, mm -hmm. and it's about uh, 67 inches wide. Mm -hmm. So really, uh, the proportions are, to, to call out a vehicle that's mm -hmm. familiar to everyone, maybe a Mini Cooper or our own uh, Suzuki SX4 hatchback, about the same size. Now, uh, you mentioned uh, production. Obviously, a lot of this won't make it to the production vehicle that this is sort of uh, foretelling. But what, what might? What might appear uh, on the production vehicle that, that we see here? Uh, well, like I said, this is a completely you know, off-the-wall uh, mm -hmm. off kind of concept that designers yeah. did. But the, uh, the general idea was to de develop an, uh, a pickup truck that would activate the weekends of our, of our users. You know, Suzuki mm -hmm. is known for their ATV and uh, dirt bike, and as well as the marine uh, folks who own boats and yeah. stuff like that. So basically, we wanted to build a truck also for their needs. And so our pickup truck in Chicago, which we're going to reveal, mm -hmm. will have some uh, interesting elements in the bed to help people with those, uh, with those kind of activities. But this vehicle, too, obviously was designed with those people in mind. So the X-Head is uh, oriented towards like lifestyle vehicle. Yeah, your weekend warrior. And, and that really comes out uh, as we move towards the rear. Uh, let's talk about what's happening over here. Obviously, uh, maybe we're going fishing, right? Yeah. Is that what's happening here? Camping, yeah. perhaps? Yep. Uh, you got your fishing pole right here. You got your uh, night light and some camping gear. We even got an air compressor built in. So, mm -hmm. if you want to uh, inflate your mattress or mm -hmm. your uh, raft or whatever, you can do that. Or you can hook up your uh, air tools, you know, mm -hmm. air power tools, and you can use them on your bike or ATV. The, the uh, bed is also modular, right? There are different uh, units that you can uh, interchange as well? Right. The concept behind this was to have uh, an interchangeable bed. So we have a camper unit that actually sleeps a couple of people. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also have a rescue version. It has a you know a big, a big crane. Uh -huh. So there's a couple of little fun ideas as well. This one in particular has uh, bedside storage on both sides mm -hmm. to put your gear in and still preserve your bed space. And also I noticed um, there's, it looks like it's a pretty rugged vehicle capable of, uh, of going off-road and uh, not having too much issue. Uh, is that something that will also be reflected in the vehicle that we can uh, see coming in the future? Absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, this vehicle uses a, uh, the same four-wheel drive system mm -hmm. that is in our uh, Suzuki Grand Vitara, mm -hmm. which is a two-speed transfer case, so you can actually do some real rock crawling. And Suzuki has a real heritage in off-roading. So we wanted to make sure this was uh, very much capable of that. And our truck that we'll be launching in the fall will have some of the best four-wheel drive systems out there. Where is Suzuki design right now? What, what is on this vehicle that is reflective of the current state of Suzuki design? Well, uh, I, I don't know how, to, I'm not designers, so I don't know how I can speak yeah. to that necessarily, but I think that Suzuki is always looking for designs that are crisp mm -hmm. and fresh and bold. And so when you see our products, a lot of times you'll see that manifest itself. And in this case, I think it speaks for itself. It is certainly bold, and it is a fresh, cream, crisp design. Well, let's hop inside and just take a quick look in there. Certainly. OK. Interesting. So we're looking inside the X-Head here. And uh, show us what we're looking at. Uh, well, the cabin is a very tall cabin, so it gives you a very airy feel. It's got some uh, glass sunroofs, again, to bring light in. And it's got toggle switches and, and uh, all your all your gear uh, to make the vehicle work as it should. Uh, what's interesting here is you also have on a door what looks like a, a, pull, a, a pull handle also doubles as a removable flashlight and it also serves as a hammer in case of an emergency. Uh, that's pretty so, darn clever. Yeah, it's, it's detachable. The seats are made of a neoprene material so they're waterproof and uh, so they're again designed for your active lifestyle but uh, if you get out there muddy or dirty or wet you can still uh, not tear up your interior. 
Excellent. Well, this is a really interesting vehicle, and as a guy who, back when I was a kid, uh, sort of longed for Suzuki Samurai of my own, yeah. and always liked small, uh, you know, compact but cool-looking little SUVs, uh, I think this is a really neat package, and I'm excited to see what comes uh, from uh, the production vehicle that you have coming shortly. Yeah, well, thank you very much. We're excited about the concept and our production vehicle launching later this year. Well, Steve Union, thank you, thank you for spending time with us. My and uh, keep it right here on Kelly Blue Books, KBB.com for more coverage of the 2008 North American International Auto Show.